I would like to the people to know because I know they probably think like, who's this person on this show yeah. that's just been talking, All the time. having a great opinion, you. blending in. You yes, think sir. we've been, been knowing them for years? Yes. Yeah. Omar London, Omar fucking London, Omar fucking London. man. Where so, from New York? I'm from New York. I like the accent. Uh, from New York. New York. Yeah. New York. New York. New York. New York. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. I went in. I, I practiced that two times before New I came York. in. <laughs> yeah, I'm from New York. I'm from um, Long Island. Uh, okay. Yeah, my, strong, my Island? Pe- strong Island. Oh, I feel you. Strong Island. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mama, strong Island. Yeah. Um. So yeah, my people's from the Bronx. I grew up in Long Island. Um, okay. And then I uh, moved to Harlem when I graduated. Uh, the high school I went to college. So I was in Harlem. For oh, that's where you got the style from. That's I was where you just got... about to say that. <laughs> that's where Harlem, you got the style man. from. And that's where I got my style from, Harlem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then one thing in St. Nick, right by Apollo. Okay. Nice, okay. nice. Okay. Yeah, so. Hey, man, Harlem <laughs> niggas is deep, man. I'm going to Harlem niggas are real. I went on tour with fly. Shice Bubs. Shice Bubs. Shice Bubs from Dipset. Oh. He was from Harlem. Yeah. And when I tell you this nigga had 30 pairs of shoes. How was that? That was It was amazing. This nigga, he yeah. showed me Harlow life. This nigga was smoke a whole Dutch in the back with it and not pass it. But have the most intimate conversation, deep <laughs> conversation with you, make you love. Like, bro, you love me, but won't let me smoke weed with you. Yeah. It was a beautiful, because I'm from Cali. We, he go, brother, we we with that. Nah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Harlem, different, bro. It's different. Like, yeah, bro. It's different. I, I love you, bro, but I'm not passing my Dutch. Yeah. And I'm going to wear Supreme. Yeah, and yeah, $400 yeah. shoes just to go to the CVS. Yeah, I had a decision um, when I graduated high school, I was either going to move to Brooklyn or Harlem. Oh, That's where I moved to. I went to school out there. What school? To uh, Trinity Academy. Oh, the, you was in Brooklyn? Yeah. Uh, what part? Uh, well, I believe it was like near Flatbush. Oh, okay. I want to say. Yeah, it's so diverse now. That's yeah. so, it's all gentr- gentrified. Everywhere. Every, Harlem's gentrified. So tell so, me, man. Like, so, so New York. Yeah, from so from New York. Um, been into fashion forever. So I went to um, Berkeley uh, College for fashion marketing management, mm. and then I did another course at FIT for design. Yeah. Okay. So damn, was, you been in school. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, really? a, I'm a old head. I'm not telling y'all my age. Though. No, you ain't got to. You ain't got to. Black yeah. don't crack. Like, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I just been out there hustling. I, I worked for this um. This um, company back in the day, this PR firm, and I got to work on like internal once as a part of Roxy Terrence first started. Okay. Oh, damn, telling my age. And then. Um, nah, <laughs> man, you good. You yeah, good, just good. messed up. And then I. um, So then. 2015. So you start. I was like, you're going quick. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So you started off doing like set design or what was it? No. So back then I was just doing regular styling and personal shopping and stuff oh, okay. like that. Yeah. But I wanted to move to LA. How'd you get the plugs to be a personal shopper? I've always wondered that because it's like you can't, just, you can't just you can't just because you're going through this like it's easy. Like yeah, I you have as to a be. Oh, shopper. Yeah, you have to be like, a good um, networker. <laughs> yeah, you, you have gotta to have to get the guys, especially in New York. In New York, yeah. in New York yeah. too, yes. the fashion you to. capital yes. of the world. Um, and it's be a walking billboard for yourself. If, yep. if they see and they like the way you dress and what you got going on, they're going to, you know, fuck with you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Who was one of your first plugs you met? If you a must, or oh. first, like, late, like uh, uh, clothing lines or something, you were like, yeah, okay, that's how I solidified that plug. Oh, you know what? Um, the first person who I was like, damn, um, Rachel Zoe. She's, um... <laughs> If you guys familiar with Rachel Zoe? Nah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. Of course yeah. he is. Yeah. So I, I <laughs> really met does her. all the fashion to anything. Yeah. Yeah. She was she was like an idol of mine, like um stylist back in the day. And I worked for this PR firm in Soho. Um she was one of my clients. Okay. Um, so I got to work on set, um, a Sex and City movie. The Damn. first one. Yeah, and she was nice. like working on that set and I was just there like dropping on garment bags and That's tight. I was in awe. Um and then I met uh Ty Hunter. When he was styling Beyonce back in the day. Okay. Yeah. So that was like two people in the industry. I was like, okay. And then they just kind of like start, you, you learn the ropes, basically yeah, how to do I, it. And then you just took your own path, yeah, basically. Basically, mm-hmm. yeah. And then, um, so I was doing that in New York. And then 2000, and I, first of all, I always wanted to come to LA. I used to have, yeah, I used to have vivid dreams back in California, like when I was a kid. But why, why'd you want to come so bad? The palm trees. <laughs> I, 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 I was obsessed with the palm it's trees. The, the weather, like, no one wants to shovel snow. I feel, right, I feel you. Did you that. shovel snow? I shovel snow. I shoveled my mom's car out seven in the morning. Hey, I'm busting my ass in Jersey, in Newark. <laughs> I was, was in Newark f- at a fucking hotel, and I'm walking out, and in black ice, I slipped. Yeah. Bust my ass. Black, black ice is so dangerous. It's so wild to me when I was out there. My knees have been the same since. Like, yeah, you <laughs> have the same since. You really, that's just crazy. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so you basically just uh, love a little, a little harp on the palm trees. If you ever go to palm trees, you been to palm trees? Um, yeah, well, yeah, to Coachella, right? 
Yeah, it's a little bit outside of Palm Springs, but yeah. the same area. Well, I was in yeah. Every yeah. single palm tree planted in that area has been planted by a human. It's not natural. Well, no, I heard that a lot. That's yeah. crazy. I heard that actually yeah. in Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, yeah, fact. That's a rare. <laughs> no, Hollywood Boulevard, they Alfalfa. were planting it. So. <laughs> no. Hollywood Boulevard? Somewhere I seen them planting palm trees not too long ago. I was like, oh, they plant these? Like, oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. So then, um, so I wanted to come to um, L.A., um, and also, I was telling y'all, I love 90s Cali movies. Yeah. So yeah. I was just, like, obsessed. Like, you know, um, Poetic Justice. I feel like, you. Poetic Justice is one of my, like... I'm about to say, like, what was one of the first 90s Cali movies that you seen? Poetic Justice. And I didn't even want to come to, like... Boys Rocky in the Hood. I wanted to go to the hood. I was like, I want to go to the hoods. I want to go to Compton. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to South Central. I want to go to Inglewood. That's what I wanted to do. I'm cool. I'm please, I, I, hope, I hope you change your, your view by the time you actually came. Oh, no, yeah. My first time coming to L.A. was, um, well, 2008, I, I went to San Francisco. I met okay. I met this random girl in college, and she was from San Francisco. What, college, did you, what college was this? Um, well, so when um, when I went to um, my on-campus dorm was at City College, so it was a co-ed for a whole bunch of schools in um, Manhattan. Wow. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, that's tight as yeah. fuck. Damn, so, it was uh, lit there. It had to be lit there. Stories. I got stories. <laughs> <laughs> stories. Yeah. Yeah. It was dope. Um, so I met her. Her name was Lala. And I love shout out to Lala. Oh shout out to Lala. I, me and Lala was friends for like a week. I've and always wanted a friend like, of Lala. She was like, I'm going home. She was like, I'm going home for, um, you should get a friend named Lala. I think cool. She, 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 <laughs> cool. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so she was like, I'm going home um, for the, uh, a baby shower or something like that. Yeah. I was like, I want to go. And I didn't even really know her like that. But I was like, I want to go. So she's like, yeah, come. I came to San Francisco, Oakland, fell in love. Um, and then I came back. I came to LA 2012, fell in love. And hmm. I was like, I'm moving here. Like, that's it. When did you officially move here? 2015. I literally, January, I was like, I'm moving to LA. I, I had, I kept on saying it and I would like finagle on it. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Okay. So I told everybody. Yeah. So now I got to do it. And then I looked on the calendar, picked the date. I was like, May 19. Damn. Real That's hustle real. right there. Because we've known each other since like 2017, right? Yeah. So I was modeling for this designer I know, David G. and Piccolo. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I met yeah. In uh, LA Fashion Week. And that's where I met my dog, Omar. And you were talking about starting this puff and paint thing that you yeah, got going on. Damn. Yeah, that's yep. where we met. And I, was, and I was These like, niggas is bringing out facts right now. And right? I, was, I was like, hey, man, just put it together and I'm with it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And one thing about people that actually make shit happen is I'll always fuck with them. You know, yeah. there's a lot of people that are just out here talking about what the fuck they're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the L.A. Like, that thing. Is, that's the L.A. L.A. thing. Yeah, bro. What yeah. they doing, who they work with. Yeah. It's like, hey, and I'm man, sick of every right. female. I'm sorry, this is a minor rant. Yeah. I'm sick of when I meet new, beautiful females, and they tell me they do marketing. Marketing. Yeah. What, what do you market? What does that, 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 that entail? I know, a lot, I know a lot of strippers and <laughs> prostitutes that who do marketing, <laughs> and nothing's wrong with that. Just yeah. tell me that's what you do. You can't Just know. Just tell me. You Let can't know. What type of marketing? What does that mean? We're doing marketing now. Yeah. You can't. You can't know all that. Shawty, I came out here. I came out here wearing fucking uh, fucking uh, Dior or fucking Chanel blue. That's marketing for yeah. Chanel. Yeah. I ain't getting paid. They're but not, that's marketing. They're not gonna yeah. tell you what the fuck they're doing <laughs> with marketing. They're just gonna give you very broad, <laughs> yeah. broad <laughs> statements. Oh that is God. LA. Yeah. But no. But no. No one or a uh, person who I've never met before that actually made something happen that we talked about. Mm-hmm. Like. I'll forever fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Got to. Appreciate it, yeah. Got to. And the events yeah. are swagged out. I used to do... Ass um, fuck. You, would, you would think two naked people, like, <laughs> if you're not an artist. Right? <laughs> I'm an artist. I've, I've painted naked people most of the time. You right. would think that, like, what is that? That's weird. But it sets a mood and a vibe mm-hmm. aesthetically. Right. For you to like get your creative juices flowing. Can yeah. I chime in on that go real ahead. quick? Yeah. As the not artist, yeah, go ahead. not person, I walked to this event. You didn't tell me it was naked people. Oh, you just walked in. I didn't know oh, you know nothing. Know. Oh. I just literally, he was like, hey, I'm about to do this little paint event. You yeah. can smoke. He said, I'm doing a paint event. You can smoke. Oh. Instantly knew I went on the internet and bought a ticket. Um, I could have did the whole, oh, my homie's the artist, yeah, let me get the hookup. But I was yeah. like, nah, this shit's tight. I yeah. want to be able to like support. Yeah. Bought the little ticket. It was, it was fairly priced. Everything was tight. So I went in there, bought the ticket, went in there, and I looked, and I was like, all right, it's cool. And all of a sudden, like, 
decorations start coming up, lights start getting <laughs> dim. I'm like, oh, this is a vibe. Hold up. And all of a sudden, I see these two people come up, butt ass naked. And I'm like, oh, and shit. I look to the left and the right of me. And I'm like, is anyone else uncomfortable? <laughs> and everyone else seemed chill. I love that. So then I seemed chill. I was like, all right, all right well, yeah. fuck it. All right, well, this is what's happening. Yeah. If you really, if you, um, Cause it's the instant shock of seeing two naked people up there. It was right? a lot, and then like ten minutes later, you it's not even like they did. How about right. this? Yeah. And what she exactly. was actually cute. Yeah, you have I'll, great taste in your models. Good job. Yeah. 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 So I'm like, is anyone else checking out? I mean, all right, I'm yeah. not gonna check it. I ain't gonna be this nigga. Yeah. I'm not gonna be the fucking nigga. I'm gonna chill out. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I start painting, and then I start looking beyond like the sexuality part mm-hmm. of her body. Now I'm looking at anatomy and then Reen comes like, okay, see how you can paint like this? Do like this and do the swipe mm-hmm. and come through and do yeah. the Then I'm like, okay, I see it. Now I'm getting inspired. Yeah. 30 minutes later, I'm not even looking at them. They don't even exist. I'm over here deep in. Yeah. I don't even want people talking to me. It was a vibe. Now you see where I be at, where I be at the crib and painting my Bro, pieces. Bro, this nigga Reen went off a long time ago in the mansion. When Black Swan came out, he had the Black Swan soundtrack. Yeah. He locked himself in in the room, locked himself in the room. This is when the mansion was popping. That's sexy. He yeah. had a bunch of. He locked himself in the room. We'll try to open the door. He wouldn't let us in. And he makes it sound so crazy. <laughs> yeah. He locked himself <laughs> in the goddamn room. Yeah, he in the room. <laughs> but he was painting, and he came out with one of the hardest paintings I've ever. I've always loved. And well, it's like your paintings you do at the show are so dope, I and mean, that's why I wanted you to come back. I like. I like. I. This is my six show. I don't remember. But, and you did two shows, right? Yeah, I've done two. Yeah, and I just love... You've been the best artist. Yeah, man, I'm trying to come back whenever. Just let me know, January 12th. January 12th. Well, we get the announcement right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we just get the announcement? Sign me up on the show. I have a question, though. Yeah. So, yes, we're talking about the art. Yes, we're talking about the nudity. But here's the best part of this that I'm curious. What? It's the cannabis aspect of this. Yes. We're a cannabis-friendly podcast. Yes. Yes. That's what we are. You yes. know, a, a, a few of us indulge all the time. Yes. You know, Coach K, unfortunately, he you know, kind of hangs I mean, out. I keep it cool. <laughs> oh, you know, I no, keep it cool. He keeps it cool. He can, Not really. Oh, no, nah, not at all. So anyway, we really um, cannabis-friendly. Now I see this event. Mm. How did that come together? You're from um, New York. Right. You're coming to California, and you found a plug. Yeah. I hate this to sound ghetto as hell right now, but you found a plug for like a cannabis like company who's willing to come behind you. Right. Which is Munchies. Munchies, yeah. Yeah, shout out Munchies right shout now. Out shout, Munchies. Out, shout, shout out to Shout out to Sheldon. Yeah. So so um background, the my first show I did, um, I just did it on the whim on my own. It was it was supposed to be like for my birthday. I was like, I'm gonna do a birthday situation because for my birthday I always like to go big. So, okay. gonna, so I was like, I'm going to do that. When's your birthday? Um, March 27th. So Aries, you're a Aries. Aries, Aries. Aries. Okay, let me get that right. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the Pisces, though. Yeah. Aries, yeah. Um, so the whole idea came up of just being high one day. And I I was like, I, <laughs> no, for real, for real. Like, I, so I, I Were smoked. you in California? Or yeah, yeah, I've been, yeah. I started, so I've been smoking, like, for real, for real, for like two years now. I've been here almost four but I moved into my apartment with my roommate and he used to blow down. So for two years, I've been like smoking and I smoke with a purpose. So when I smoke, I get real creative. I like when that. you said I smoke with a purpose. Yeah, you got it's everything. A That's how I am yeah. too. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly how I am. This just out here getting blowed and just watching fucking Netflix, even yeah. though I do sometimes. <laughs> well, no, yeah. It's, no, sometimes, like, that, that's the purpose because when you're watching Netflix, you're getting creative. You better laugh. No, shows. thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No, because that's what me, um, trying to tell me and Kay yeah. I want to start watching more movies and getting into that stuff because you do get more creative. Doobies yeah. and movies is an idea Doobies. I came up with a long time ago. Doobies and movies. I'll talk to you about Doobies. it after yeah. this. Okay, yeah, yeah. And that it's going to be like a little, like, YouTube series. I like that. Like, I like hear some more, Cisco but... Neaver type shit. Like we just rate shit and talk about it. So yeah, I love that. I want to trust me. Arts. We'll talk about it. That's just if anyone copies that. I swear, yes. fucking god, we did good. it first. You already gave away the idea, big C. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you well, that's that up. Bombay. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> we out here. But, um, yeah, so I um, so I I was um, you know, high one day, and I love nudity. Mm-hmm. In, in a in a way, and I really wanted to like in a tasteful way, in a tasteful way, and I yeah. wanted to take away like the whole the the taboo of 
it you know people equate it with sex and porn. Yeah, and it's not that it's you were born that way. You know, you die that way. You that way when you, whenever you by yourself, or whatever. So yeah, I wanted to take that way. So I was like, I wanted it to be like good music, good lighting. Purple lighting is my favorite. That's why all my shows have the purple lighting. I was wondering about the no, purple lighting. I've noticed I like that. that. I just, definitely noticed that. It's just royalty. It's good vibes. It is. I don't know. I love it. I love it. And um, good music. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, I, when you smoke, I think you get real creative and you just yeah. get into that zone and you add a little wine to it. It's like a. It's almost like an XC pill. Like yeah. Hell like, yeah. Hell yeah. I feel, I feel like you. So, that's how that's how I feel when I get in there. That purple little light and the little drapes and all the little aesthetics of it. Yeah. I'm an artist, so you know I know yeah, all yeah. that stuff. Like you're very keen on like the vibe. Yeah, I, my my goal is when everyone come, I want them to feel catered to. Like yeah. every, mm. the bells and whistles. Like you know when you come, hey. the wine, the, what you need, the food. I'm gonna come clean. Yep. Yep. The servers at the event. Most gracious, beautiful women. Just they're just so nice. Shout out to Melissa. Shout out to Sa- shout out, shout out to Melissa. I'm shout out to Kay. Shout out to Kay. She so yes, yeah, Kay actually cooked for the one that uh, the first the one that you first did. Yeah. Okay. 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 Word. Yeah. Was yeah. she the chicken? She made chicken. You said she made chicken. <laughs> oh go. shit! You know you just went up like two notches in my book. You're just doing that. That chicken was fire. Yeah. <laughs> so I told my friends, um, I can't do it without them. It's a team. And we just be doing it. So thing. tell me, you moving? So what? So the first move, what, so you just like, I'm moving out here, I'm doing oh, my right. shit. <laughs> yeah, so. And I, how'd you end up getting with Munchies and starting the Puffin Paint? So the whole journey from 2015 to now was I moved out here with no apartment, a couple stacks, my car. I shipped my car with all my luggage in it. And I didn't have Damn. a job. I just came out here and was like, I'm about to make some shit happen. That's real, real and shit. <clears throat> I went through the whole thing. I was homeless for a little bit, slept in my car. That's um, deep. And I, could, I didn't have to. I could have went home. I called my mom. But I just wanted to really do my make own it. thing. Yeah. 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 And, and you know, being in LA, I became a man out here. Like, for sure, for sure. Like, I, I, I went deep. through. Yeah, I went through a lot. Good, good. LA's been the best. But yeah. yeah. So when I came out here, I was doing um, wardrobe for TV and film. That's the original reason why I wanted to come out here. I wanted for to, who? Um, for doing, TV and film. Yeah, wardrobe. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what's up. So I wanted to win like an Academy Award, Oscar for like doing costume design. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So I did like um, this independent film, mm-hmm. um, and then I then I got like trapped into working with a couple of rappers. Uh, shout out to Zoe Dollars. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. So I got a chance to work with him and Chris Brown. And it's a whole bunch of people. So I was doing that. Okay. And then once I start smoking and getting more into the cannabis industry, yeah. then I'm like, damn, like, it's like a billion dollar business. It's a lot of money. Yeah, in that it is. Shit. 20, 25 is, is, they should about like 20 billion. Uh, hey, so was that saying. was the first thing that he told me too. Mm-hmm. Like in our conversation that I distinctly remember is, it's a lot of money in There's this kind of in in this industry. You smoke, you better legal, get you some. Legal, a lot of legal money. In <laughs> you the better get you industry. some. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's real. I, 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 so once I figured out that and I decided I want to do an art show, I did my first couple by myself. And then I was actually working a 9 to 5 um, at Verizon. And Sheldon... Oh, I don't know if I can say the names of the place I work at, but Sheldon. It's and, cool. We, we, I mean, yeah. what they gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. out here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so Sheldon from Munchies, the CEO, he came in with his girlfriend to upgrade their phones. And one thing about wherever I worked out, I always promote myself. Whatever I'm doing, I'm promoting to whoever because you yep. never know who you're gonna meet. Right. Exactly. So that was one person that I never knew who I was gonna meet. And yep. I was, he told me what he'd do, and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm trying to do a puff and paint. And I was trying to get him to come out to them. It, it just never crossed path, and he would invite me out to stuff. Um, and then he finally came out, loved it. And then um, he basically was like, let's do We did a contract with a couple of shows, and that's the rest of the history. Yeah. Yep. Damn. So off of at the jig, mm-hmm. you over here working at Verizon. Working at Verizon. Doing just mm-hmm. what you were doing. Upgrading the phones. Upgrading the phones. out by employees. <laughs> Damn. And that's how you met the plug. Yes, and that's how, yeah. And then you just built from there, and then really yeah. kept working. Yeah. And actually doing right by what you met, though, not like yeah. just using and abusing. No, but the thing about Munchies is, um, so I'm in a contract, but it's not exclusive, so I can work with other people. Right. And, and we, we go month to month with our contract. 
contracts. Oh, that's mm. tight. Yeah, so I don't, I don't have to. I might in the long term with them if I buy next month. If I was like, I don't want, I could do with someone. So else. it's more yeah. like it's real. Though. Yeah, it's like family that's why friends. it's real because yeah. it's like it's yeah. month to month. No matter. That's like it's more deeper than just why well, I own you for like no, nine yeah. months. We, we you built a relationship that. with each other. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's what that's yeah. what that sounds like a marijuana contract to me. Like, like <laughs> yeah. very well, organic. Yeah, yeah. Very, very organic. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So I have a question, like. What was the biggest difference besides the weather between New York and LA when you first moved the out? The people. Here? The people? The people for sure. In yeah. what way? Um You know, New York people are very like tough. They are. Say and like very they, direct. Very direct, say what they want. Um out here in LA, people are a little bit more, you know, more chill, relaxed. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like a little bit sensitive. I don't know. Like, okay. What, what yeah, tips well, do you have for people coming out here? My bad, Ray, my fault. No, you good. Um, have a plan. So you. Yeah. Is don't that, don't do what I did because I did it. No, I'm gonna tell you why. I did it so now people could learn. Like, yeah. it, it, you know, now like if one of my friends wanted to come out here and they needed somewhere to, like to live or crash, I I didn't have. You don't have to sleep in your car or yeah, because you got someone who been through that. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I had to do it that way because I would never did. I would never just jumped up and left. So I had to like do it the way I did it. Yeah. But have a plan. Like you know, have you know money, have some money because LA is not. Cheap. It's Hell crazy. no. The yeah, you know that. Hell no. Nah. Nah. So how you know have a plan of what you want to do when you come here, um, and just come here and get focused and don't get lost in the sauce because my first year I partied. Word. Damn. Like, I I've done so much in three years than my whole life. Do you think? Do you think it's quicker <laughs> to get lost in the sauce out here or in New York? Oh, for sure out here. That's real. Yeah. yeah. The, this is the epicenter. The drugs is bigger out yeah. here. The the money is yeah. just out and open. Like New York is very exclusive. Yeah. You don't. You would never see no one just doing a, a bump or. You yeah. Know, you really don't know who yeah. got money out there because. Yeah. People really don't be driving that much. And yeah. So yeah. and in departments you can't really tell. Yeah. But out here you can true. see the money, you can see the cars, you see the yeah. everything. So very that's true. Real. You know, people, you know, they get they could get lost in the sauce. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the first thing when we when you talked about being on the podcast, like you had sent me the topics and I was like, that's the one. Yeah. Because we can't have no perspective on what to say or what to do when coming out to California. Right. Yeah. You coming out from New York to California and right. trying to make a plan, your perspective means like everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you, you know how to figure it out. Right. You yeah. literally got to figure it out from, from the jump. You're not from Phoenix. No. <laughs> right. Right. You're not from yeah. Las right. Vegas. Yeah. Right. Right. You're from New York. You exactly. Because even when I went to New York, like, I, I, like the culture out there is so different in terms of just how people move. Like everybody mm. got something to do. Somewhere to, somewhere to go. It's 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 all it's inspiring almost. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everywhere, everybody has somewhere to go. Yeah, it's just it's dope in that way. Yeah. The thing, New York, New York, it's crazy that you moved out here on a whim. On a whim. That's why I respect. Yeah, I respect yeah. that. Like, you really <laughs> went out here on a real dice roll of life. That's yes. a lot of people that aren't from here though. Do that. We just don't always come encounter with them. Right. Anymore. You don't hear yeah. the stories. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. A lot of people do that. Just like I'm going to L. A. I got to do that. I got to make yeah. it happen out there. And you know what? I I got lost. I did get lost in source out here at one point. Um, I was. I remember, so I was always say smoke on a purpose. I wasn't smoke on a purpose at one point. I was just go smoke. Go to the movies, eat all day, and go to sleep. <laughs> chilling, with, chilling with you know people who didn't understand my lifestyle, what I had going on. Yeah. Um. So you know you really gotta like stay focused, right, on what you want to do and what right. you want to accomplish right here because this is what I put in my mindset. I'm not from here, like y'all say. Like yeah. I don't have the luxury to go home, chill at my mom's exactly. house, or like. Yeah. And so when holidays come, it get lonely sometimes. And, you. and I, I, I'm um missing out so much. How was your moments. first? Holiday season outside of New York. 75 Income. degrees on Christmas, 2015 out here. It was warm. I had slides on and shorts. <laughs> I was like, I had slides on and shorts. Um, tripped you out. Yeah, tripped me out. I haven't been home. In, I haven't been home in three Christmases. Damn. Damn. Cause I just don't, I'm like, I seen snow my whole life. I can miss snow for a couple years. I feel you. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. Well, well anyway, man, uh, we all. We're gonna take another little musical break, man. Yeah, sure. Omar, Omar London, Omar motherfucking Omar London. Motherfucking <laughs> London. <laughs> Still here Shout out man. to y'all, man. This is so dope. Good vibes. Nah, it's Astro dope. professional man. vibes that I love it. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, yeah. man. I appreciate it. We'll come back in uh, nice. with uh, Coach K. You already know. 
special sports update. We got some yeah. controversy. <laughs> we got some controversy going on. You still hanging out, Omar? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. So you know what it is. It's your boy, Ben Cali. Kelly Kell. Rare Argon. This is Argon Radio, man. Let's go. Yeah.